So good evening, everybody. This is the Iraqi Orthodontic Society webin live webinar. This is the eighth webinar, and this is going to be a special Friday. We have with us uh, Dr. Kim, and Dr. Kim is a special guest. He has made his DDS and MSD from Seoul National University. That's in Southern Korea. He also carries the Korean Board Certificate of Orthodontics. Uh, so he's certified orthodontist, and he's a specialist orthodontist and founder of the WebSAF uh, program, which is a very well-known program that uh, would automatically use AI to predict your uh, um, cephalometric tracing and treatment outcome. <clears throat> I invite you to listen to the lecture entitled How Cloud and Artificial Intelligence Technologies Can Change Our Clinical Practice. We are looking forward to that lecture. So uh, Dr. Kim, please uh, feel at home. Uh, thank you for introducing me. Uh, I'm going to share my screen now. Uh, okay. Hello, doctors from uh, Iraq. Uh, it's so glad to meet you all. Uh, I'm so honored to have this uh, great uh, webinar. I'm Ye Hyun Kim, a specialist orthodontist in South Korea. And I am also a founder and main developer of WebSEF. Uh, before I start this presentation, I want to mention that uh, all the people around the world are, are suffering and going through a very, very uh, hard time now. I believe that uh, we will uh, all fight against uh, this hostile enemy well and eventually winning uh, this war. And I would like to thank uh, Dr. Akram uh, al Huaizi uh, and Iraq, Iraqi Orthodontic Society uh, for their great efforts to continue education in orthodontics uh, in this hard time. Uh, well, uh, this is my team. I founded a web-based diagnostic software company with a PhD orthodontist and a PhD oral surgeon who are my uh, precious uh, friends of mine. And we are working on a project called WebSeph, and we are making up the future of the uh, hyper-connective era of dentistry. I majored in uh, both mechanical engineering and dentistry and is currently working as a specialist orthodontist in South Korea. I'm so much interested in machine learning and making cloud solutions for dentists. I, I am continually finding the best way that I can contribute or uh, dedicate to orthodontics using my engineering and orth orthodontic backgrounds. And as part of this effort, uh, the service that we are making, we are developing is WebSeph, an artificial intelligence driven orthodontic and orthodontic cloud solution. This is the contents of my presentation today and actual presentation order uh, might be slightly uh, different. Now I am going to start with the uh, brief reviews of research papers on AI in orthodontics. The history of automated landmark detection of cephalometry is quite long, especially with the rise of AI technology. Uh, a grand challenge was held in Beijing, China, to compete who is better at detecting landmarks in several images. The International Symposium of Biomedical Imaging is doing these kind of uh, challenges annually. And in 2014 already, it showed 71.48% accuracy within the two millimeters uh, precision range. And in 2016, uh, Claudia Lindner used the machine learning uh, algorithm of random forest, a method of decision tree, and showed detection accuracy of 84.7% within the two millimeters range. And in 2017, uh, landmark detection was first attempted using deep convolutional neural networks, which is also known as deep learning. It reported that it obtained higher accuracy than the other existing machine, machine learning methods. 
and the CNN is uh, still the, the, the quite accurate method that, and the uh, web service also uh, based on these technologies, uh, based on these technologies. And AI technology is now being introduced uh, in the diagnostic area that determines extraction of teeth beyond uh, just a simple landmark detection. The author of this paper is Professor Seok Ji Jung of Korea University in South Korea. He is an advisory me uh, board member of our team and is uh, cl closely collaborating uh, with us. In 2016, Professor uh, uh, Seok Ji Jung's research made a machine learning system that judges the extraction of orthodontic cases. It was reported that the accuracy of 93% extraction and non-extraction judgment and 84% accuracy in the detailed extraction pattern. In 2019, Professor Seok Ji Chung expanded the scope of this diagnostic system to the surgical cases. He reported that the success rate of the prediction system showed 96% for the diagnosis of surgery and non-surgery decision and showed 91% uh, for the detailed diagnostic, diagnostics uh, decision. This year, he used deep learning algorithms to do differential diagnosis of uh, surgery indications and reported these deep learning systems showed over 95% of accuracy. These AI technologies will keep expanding uh, its scope. So I think uh, we must understand this technology and be prepared for uh, this cha uh, these changes uh, to come. In here, uh, I will uh, briefly talk about uh, the basic concepts of AI. Well, a uh, machine that can think like a person and or uh, work like a man has long been a dream for our human beings, uh, although there have been uh, many worries about that, uh, that. The concept of this machine can start with this simple prediction system. The concept of this machine can start with, the, uh, uh, with, with this simple prediction system. Uh, Given an input, it is a machine that infers some uh, results from this input. In statistics, uh, this prediction unit, prediction unit is called hypothesis. Uh, in the conventional programming uh, methodology, uh, human experiences and logic are mainly used for making this hypothesis. Uh, we have had to make rules for uh, all the conditions that might occur uh, in real situations uh, using our experience and logic. However, uh, this method could not flexibly cope with the complicated environment and on an exceptional situation, it, uh, it failed to make a good prediction output. Machine learning uh, is completely di different, uh, different from this the previous method. This is not a rule-based rule prediction system. This method creates a prediction system using purely data and algorithms uh, which direct how to train data, uh, not human logic or reasoning. This system learns from the huge amount of questions and correct answer data sets. Depending on the accuracy of the data, the size of the data, and how smart the learning algorithm is, the outcome of the prediction system uh, will vary. This is a general flow of uh, general flow diagram of deep learning algorithm system. And uh, this methodology uh, can be applied to various fields that uh, we want to apply. This diagram is a flow chart of the Cephalo landmark detection system that I have developed with my team. When Cephalo image is fed into the system, uh, it is modified into a different form that AI can work better. After this feature engineering, two machine learning algorithms uh, perform their job in serial, and final output will be displayed on the screen. I'm going to show you a short uh, video clip 
which demonstrate uh, this AI system. Uh, as you can see in this video, uh, artificial intelligence uh, model automatically uh, detects the landmark landmarks in real time. You can see that it is very fast and quite uh, precise. It even finds on the uh, images from the image on, images on the smartphone. Uh, well, and this is a, a performance evaluation video of the prototype of WebSet. I recorded this uh, in 2018, two years ago. And now the accuracy has got much better than this video. Anyway, as you can see, uh, it quickly and accurately detects uh, and landmarks of different uh, sources of X-ray. Even when it was tested on uh, nine different types of uh, skeleton patterns, it showed clinically acceptable and usable results. Uh, even in an extreme image settings, uh, it showed fairly accurate and reliable uh, results. Based on these technologies, I, uh, I, I and my uh, friends are working on a project to build a platform that can be easily and freely used by orthodontists around the world. Uh, regarding the data security and privacy uh, issue, there are a few things that I want to mention because WebSev is a project uh, planned as a web-based uh, project. First, uh, this is an ongoing project and it is on beta service now. And we are currently uh, preparing a medical device approval process in South Korea. And this is built on the top of the, the highly secure Amazon Web Services. And we are cooperating with the Korean government and try to do our best to comply with data administrative uh, guidelines. And WebSEP operates uh, servers in 12 locations around the world to ensure that data is physically and securely stored uh, within their regions of uh, users. And data stored in server is not uh, used for any purpose right now. Uh, from now, I would like to uh, talk about how orthodontic specialists can uh, clinically utilize this system and to make their uh, clinic smart. I'm going to change to uh, browser. Uh, if you are using Google or uh, any search engines, just type in uh, web, web Ceph, and you will find the web Ceph web page uh, on, the, on the first item on the uh, search engine as uh, search results. When, when you click this uh, item, you will be redirected into uh, websef.com and uh, from the drop down menu or on the upper right corner you can select uh, you can select the languages that as, as you want i will just set it as english for now and the uh, first thing you need to do is click uh, join for free button in here you can type in your first name last name email and password and passmate, password confirmation when you click next button, you'll be uh, then your page will pop up, and in there you have to select the country code of your country. When you select a country, then WebSev will assign the uh, proper server for based on the country's code that you entered. So, if you enter the wrong country. Uh, to WebSet, then the, your service speed might be very slow. So I recommend you to enter the right country name uh, in, in, in that field. Well, I've made some, well, I made some uh, uh, sample patients, sample accounts for the, this webinar. So when you first uh, log into uh, Web, uh, when you first log into WebSet, then you'll see this uh, dash dashboard page. So this is not uh, not the uh, not usual page that you might see when you are using other uh, cephalometric analysis uh, software. 
because WebSub is based on the uh, uh, web service, so the dashboard is uh, dashboard page is some kind of uh, place where you can communicate with other users and share uh, clinical tips or ideas here. So uh, you can share uh, information in inside this dashboard page. Well, the the first panel is the profile panel. In here, you can change your profile image or profile image, or you can change your link name, first name, last name. When you enter your link name, and then your link name will display on on the uh, the in here. So you can change your link name as as you want. And you can also and, uh, upload your cleaning logo, and then your cleaning logo will be printed on the PDF report. So you can use these uh, images uh, in that way. And on the command feed panel, uh, you can uh, ask to admin administrator, or you can ask to other users. You can share ideas, and you can leave your comment here. And uh, on the right side of the page, you can see that uh, the forum and gallery webinar panel. In here, you can get the uh, webinar information or clinical tips or and uh, some sort of the journal information here. And uh, and the bottom of the page, you can see that patient list. And in here, you can search the patient or make you patient here, but I recommend you to do that uh, inside the patient list page. You can go patient list by clicking this uh, link, or you can also uh, go in, in go into this page by uh, clicking from the sidebar menu. You can when you click patient list from the sidebar, you can uh, go inside this uh, patient list page. Well. This is uh, somewhat uh, different from the dashboard page. Uh, dashboard page, uh, uh, you can make friends or you can visit other uh, other users' uh, channel. But uh, this patient list page is a, a private uh, place, so you cannot communicate with other users, and you can only focus on the uh, case analysis and uh, consultation. Uh, when you click you patient, uh, you can and uh, then you pay. Then this model page will pop up, and in here you enter the patient ID, first name, last name, race and gender, and date of birth. But WebSub does not uh, require the personal information of your patient. Uh, but before you unload the uh, unload the uh, patient photo, I recommend you to you must and uh, I recommend you to. Uh, get the informed consent from the, your patient. Uh, well, uh, well I've, uh, I've uploaded some sample patient here, and this is a photo of mine. Uh, I took these pictures about 10 years ago. Anyway, uh, I've, when you click add record button, you can enter the recording date. And when you click uh, add record, then, uh, then you uh, you slots will be will be appeared on the screen. In here, you can uh, by clicking this uh, photo panel, you can unload uh, uh, unload uh, cephalography and PA cephalo and orthopen and a frontal photo, smile photo, and oblique photo, and and so on. Well. well you can see that uh, the header bar of these slots are different. When you finish the landmark digitization, then uh, the color of this header bar will change into the this dark gray color. But if you haven't done, if you haven't finished the landmark digitization, then uh, header bar a color of this header bar will remain uh, in in white color. Uh, well, I select this and I delete all the landmark detection data. Uh, when you first uh, go into this uh, page, you can see that there are many different types of uh, tabs appear on the on your screen. Digitization, analysis, assessment, treatment, superimposition, viewer face, case. And uh, 
first thing you need to do is uh, digitization. When you click AI digitization button, then WebSolver will automatically uh, perform the landmark detection for you. And you can find it just uh, uh, its position, uh, uh, you can find it just the uh, position of uh, this landmark by dragging this uh, uh, green color circle and uh, red color and orange color. And you can delete all the landmark, detect, uh, landmark data and you can retry it. And WebSub has multiple AI, uh, multiple uh, AI model inside this uh, digitization tab. So when you click retry button, then WebSub will change the AI model automatically and you will, you will get uh, different results uh, whenever you are doing this, when you, whenever you are clicking this retry button. And you can find it just the brightness and contrast of uh, these images. So, uh, if you ha if you haven't got uh, uh, if you do not get uh, the best results, then you can adjust the brightness and contrast, and you can click a retry button, and then uh, new image will uh, be uh, sent to the server, and website will uh, do the AI digitization again so you can uh, but the, I think the first try results was the best so I leave it like this and uh, when you click image size calibration then this red colored ruler will appear on the screens by dragging this uh, each end of this ruler you can uh, calibrate the image size because WebSev only supports B, uh, JPG and BMP and PNG images. So, and th those images do not have real size information. So, uh, if you want to uh, the accurate uh, analysis, then I recommend you to do this image size calibration. But uh, it's okay if you do, if it, it, it is also okay if you leave these uh, steps, then WebSev will automatically uh, set the profilogram of this patient as to, to adjust the size of this profilogram to fit to the normal uh, template. So you can get uh, the reasonable results if you haven't did, done this image size calibration. Anyway, I'll click save. And click OK. Then go to analysis tab. Uh, well, WebSep supports uh, 11 uh, default uh, cephalometric analysis. From here, you can select whatever you want. Zarabak, Namara, Downs, Ricketts, Steiner, Isman, Tweed, Witt, Kim, and Method one. Well, I prefer WebSep analysis. And WebSep supports uh, three different uh, view mode in, in this analysis step. Tracing line analysis, in profilogram analysis and chart analysis. And in tracing line analysis you, analysis, you can toggle the cephalography, tracing line, analysis line, and measurements. And you can also export these results into Excel file and export into the PDF file. Uh, when you click profilogram, you can um, do the uh, template-based uh, uh, cephalometric analysis. You can turn off the cephalography and you can add uh, change the alignment or origin from solid to major, and also change alignment plane from SM plane to FH plane, and you can uh, adjust the size of template and, uh, and rotation angle. And when you click chart button, uh, WebSet will make uh, this chart for you, and in here also you can change the types of cephalographic uh, analysis, cephalo analysis and then page will be automatically update, updated to that uh, cephalo analysis. And you can also, if this is a kind of uh, premium service, probably most of users do not see this feature, these features, but when you click this, you can compare the uh, changes of the, the cephalographic uh, the measurements. And if you want to export uh, this uh, results into a web uh, Excel file, then click this button and you can see the, that uh, this uh, uh, 
cephalometric analysis results are automatically exported into Excel file. And uh, when you click export uh, on the export analysis report button, then website uh, will make this PDF file for you. And, and this is simple, uh, on a simple cephalometric analysis report. And in here, you can see the tracing line analysis and chart analysis and, and template-based uh, profilogram analysis. But when you click uh, this export full report button, uh, it might take up to 15 to 30 seconds to export all the clinical photos and tracing line analysis to the PDF file. If you wait, uh, wait about 15 seconds, then you'll see that all the clinical photos of this case are exported into this PDF file. And uh, this x-ray file, uh, files are also exported into this uh, PDF file and tracing line analysis and chart analysis and profilogram analysis are all well exporting to this file. But some of you might not be uh, satisfied with this 11 uh, default analysis. In that case, you can make your own custom analysis using analysis wizard and measurement wizard. Well, I'll, I'll just show you analysis wizard results. Uh, when you click this, you'll be rejected this, this page. And here you can, by entering uh, let's say iOS analysis, you can create a uh, new analysis here. And from the uh, measurement libraries, you can add the measurement as much as you want. And you can also change the order of this uh, each uh, analysis item. And once, uh, well, when you finish the, this task, then click a save analysis. And then you, uh, let's go back to the, this, the sample cases again. When you go to analysis tab, you can see that iOS analysis are appeared on the top of this, uh, Drop down menu, analysis list. Okay, uh, let's move on to the assessment tab. Right. Well, in assessment tab, uh, website will uh, make uh, this uh, uh, case summary report for you. And this is uh, the automatically generated, I'm sorry, I changed this, this is the problem. Okay. I don't know why, but it, it, the, this report is displayed on the Korean. Anyway, if you're using the, um, probably you'll see the in, in English if you're using uh, in your country, I guess. Anyway, you can change this report results. Uh, you can, you can, ah, well, I, I remember, I'm sorry. Well, uh, I, I, have, I have saved uh, this uh, report in Korean, so. I move on to other case. Well, like this, uh, website will automatically uh, generate uh, this report uh, based on the uh, this uh, language settings that you ch uh, you choose choose. And in here, you can uh, uh, make correction of this report. Let's say facial asymmetry, and once it's done. Uh, I like this and you can save this uh, report into the server and you can also uh, uh, write down the treatment plan and you can save this into the server and uh, let's go to the treatment tab uh, before I go to treatment tab I there's a thing that I want to mention that this report is generated with a uh, uh, website using artificial intelligence and this content uh, should not be considered as a medical diagnosis and must be interpreted by the by you. Okay, okay let's go to treatment. And in here, uh, I change to this. Uh, okay, when you click AI alignment button, uh, then website will automatically aligns the facial photos of the patient to the to match to uh, cephalo 
uh, lateral cephalography. Uh, if you have, uh, and in here, WebSEP also have multiple AI models. So if you are not satisfied with the first trial results, then click alignment retry button, then you might get better results on the second trial. I think this result uh, looks better. And you can find it just uh, uh, this outline to match to the, uh, the this patient's fa facial profile. When you finish this uh, adjustment, then click start treatment. And then you can drag this um, yellow colored handle and uh, sky blue colored handle and uh, tooth and uh, tip of the incisor. And you can easily uh, change of its locations by dragging these handles. And you can also simulate the uh, genioplasty and anterior segmental osteotomy and, and DSSRO, those kind of uh, tooth surgery can also be done using the uh, WebSet uh, treatment tab. Uh, I think uh, I, I'm going to slightly retract uh, the incisor back using TED mechanics. And I'm gonna do some genioplastic advancement. I think this might look better. And I'm gonna finally adjust the position of this uh, soft tissue outline by doing these pink colored dots and then click morph and click animate button. Then you'll see that uh, this animated results of treatment uh, simulation. You can also compare these results uh, in images and you can save these images to your local computer uh, by clicking the save button. And you can share these results uh, to use when you are preparing for the seminar or when you are uh, doing some sort of the research, uh, when you're working on a research papers anyway. And you can also point post the results by clicking this point impose button and you can also export this uh, animation results to GIF uh, animation file. When you click this, you can see that uh, this animation animation is generated uh, automatically generated and saved into your local computer. Uh, and you can also uh, save these results, save treatment results to this uh, treatment list. Well, I I've already. Uh, made some uh, saved some uh, treatment uh, plans for this tab, and when you can by clicking this item from the treatment list, you can re uh, reload uh, the treatment results and click morph, and you can redo the same tasks uh, with a simple few clicks. Okay, let's go to super imposition. Well, what do you think is the most powerful tool for tool tool for orthodontists? I think the superimposition is the most powerful uh, weapon that uh, orthodontists can have. But the problem is that it takes too much time and it's quite laborious to do those kind of tasks. But uh, using WebSev, you can accomplish uh, those tasks with within with just simple few clicks. Uh, I click uh, record from this record list and then click super impose. Then you can see that uh, super imposition is uh, completed with just this two or three clicks. You can find it just the position of the overlaid images and rotate and scale. And once it's done, then you can turn off the cephalography and you can also change the color of the uh, this tracing lines and you can show this any show results to your patient in animated form and uh, you can also export this animation to your local computer by clicking this uh, button you can see that website has generated this animation file uh, for the dentist and you can also save this in position and there are uh, some uh, point position uh, that I have uh, previously saved and by clicking this you can uh, reload and uh, uh, show this results to your patients or share this results with your colleagues 
And uh, when you click shipper in position to PDF file, but uh, PDF uh, button, then you can uh, save this uh, tracing uh, shipper in position to your local computer. And uh, when you click this export uh, case report button, then it, uh, it might take up to 30 to 45 seconds to export all the clinical photo data of pre-treatment data and post-treatment data will all be exported into one PDF file. So uh, if you want to make uh, some uh, pre-treatment and post-treatment comparison data, and you want, if you want to organize those cases uh, into one PDF file, then this, you can use these um, features uh, to organize all the cases. And this is a record and this ready uh, big uh, records of this A record. And this is post-treatment uh, record of this patient and uh, radiographs of post-treatment. And this is a uh, point position, uh, uh, a tracing line point position. So using these features, you can easily uh, organize uh, case data into one file. Okay, let's go to the viewer tab. Well, uh, viewer tab is uh, for consultation, is made for consultation purpose. And from the, uh, this uh, right side control panel, uh, you can see that there are three tabs here, single, viewer, template. In single, uh, first thing you need to, you have to do is select a record from the, this record list and then click, uh, uh, click, uh, click photos and then the website will automatically refreshes the page to the select the photo and in here you can draw lines and you can also change the color you can zoom in and zoom out and you can also rotate the images and flip and you can measure the distance. But uh, as I have said before, uh, JPG image does not have uh, real size information. So if you want to calibrate, then drag this, uh, drag and you can, you, you, and then click set to 10 millimeter. And then this 42 pixel will set to 10 millimeters. So after this procedure, you can measure the distance in millimeters. Uh, you have to do this just once on per uh, images. So you can measure the distance in millimeters and you can also measure the angles in this simple way. Let's clear all the canvas. Okay, uh, when you click dual uh, items, uh, dual menu from this, uh, uh, this radio type uh, menu and, and you can see that uh, this dual view panel panels and in here you can change uh, change the this radio graph or clinical photo by placing side by side you can compare the how the treatment was progressed and uh, how the dentition was has gotten has got that better so you can compare the treatment results. And when you click template, uh, there are two uh, templates that you can use in here. And if you click record and this template uh, items from this template list, then it will automatically update, update it and you can export this uh, photo records into a PDF file by clicking this uh, button. Uh, if you wait five seconds, then uh, we will generate PDF file for you. And you can export this file into your computer or you can print this pages into the A4 page or whatever size you want to print. And uh, let's go to face tape. Well, face tape. Uh, well, uh, some of you might not like these uh, features, but uh, but I'm also a clinician in South Korea, so sometimes I um, I face some uh, situation where that uh, 
patients want to uh, see how their face would change after the orthodontic treatment, but they do not want to take x-rays. Uh, in that case, I use these features. So if you click endomite detection uh, button, then we have said we'll uh, find the soft tissue outlines. And if you click start treatment button, then this uh, yellow colored uh, handles will appear on the screen. The first uh, yellow handle is for maxilla and the second handle is for upper incisor, incisor and the third one is for a lower incisor and fourth one is uh, for uh, the mandible and the last one is for uh, the chin. So when you drag uh, this handle, you can simulate the orthodontic treatment or orthodontic uh, treatment. So if you want to show the treatment results to your patient without taking x-ray, uh, you can use these features. And you have to uh, be sure that this is just the any uh, this is the treatment simulation. So actual treatment result might be uh, different from this simulation. So, uh, but if you are using uh, in that uh, limited uh, purposes, I think this might be useful to utilize. And the last one is uh, the case. Uh, and uh, and you you I the case or organizing the case takes quite a lot of time and. Well, when I was orthodontic uh, resident, I used uh, PowerPoint uh, to organize all the cases, but it takes quite a lot of time. But so th that is why the reason why I made these features. So just simply clicking the record from the record list, you can simply organize all the case data and you can also add record items from here and you can change the photo view mode so if you want to if you want to uh, add uh, this comparison data and if you want to add just single photo and just just panoramic images so then in that way you can organize all the cases and you can save these images into your local computer or can you can send these uh, images to the your case room uh, okay, and uh, lastly, I'm gonna briefly talk about the community functions uh, of WebSeph. Uh, as I said before, uh, if you click uh, on other users' uh, avatar, you can visit their uh, you can visit their uh, channel. In there, you can get uh, you can uh, read their uh, own posts, and you can also read the you can see their uh, case. So, uh, well, before you make uh, this, uh, you, before you upload your case here, there are some uh, questionnaires that that ask you that uh, you whether you receive the informed consent from your patient. So you have to get the uh, consent from your patient before you upload the patient data. Anyway, uh, this uh, data are unloaded. Uh, after getting the uh, consent from the patient. So uh, you can get uh, the information, uh, the clinical information from the other users' uh, clinical cases and, and share the ideas uh, each other. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, that's it uh, that I have uh, prepared for this uh, webinar. So, Mm, I'm gonna change my screen to sorry. Okay, mm. and uh, and this is it uh, for today's uh, webinar. Uh, thanks for uh, listening, and I uh, I have uh, and we have planned to add a use more useful AI technology technology based features for orthodontists. So I'm looking forward to having another chance to uh, meet you audience all again, interacting more closely. And I welcome you to contact me at any time and hope to keep in touch. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank you so much. It's been very nice uh, webinar. 
most uh, some of the attendees have never gone into the uh, uh, website and never used it and I'm sure after this introduction we are all eager to try it and uh, I hope that uh, 